Hey everyone. Someone's asking how you get the exponential moving averages to pop up on your uh, think or some app. So I'm going to show you here with this quick video. Just tap on the screen. Your left toolbar will appear. You see from top to bottom. You can just change your candle settings. Um, if you choose on this uh, glass, you go to your studies. And here you can add and remove your different indicators here. You can see I have one, two, three, four, five different types of moving averages. The MACD VWAP, stock RSI. If you want to create a moving average, you have to do it each individual time here on the app. So as you can see, I have five of them. If you click on this gear button, this particular one is a 10. And I changed the different colors down below. So you have different color schemes to uh, know which one's which. The second one, I have a 21 in orange. Then if you go down to the third one, I have the 55 EMA in green. Then I have the 100. Here you can see the length in purple. And then lastly, you'll see the 200 EMA in red. Okay, so you just go down to your study search here. You type in move, average, press done. It's going to do a search. And these are your different options you have below. You could choose moving average exponential or whatever you want. That's what I like. Exponential because it shows past data um, at a closer time frames. Whereas simple moving average shows past data over all of time of that stock. So you see that once I clicked on moving average exponential, it popped up here on my list of studies. I went ahead and I clicked on the gear button. Then you could type here your moving average length. Here, I'll just put the 400 moving average, which is not really a thing here in the stock market, but just as an example. And I'll go ahead and mark it as pink because I don't already have one. And then you can go ahead and just back out of that. You can save it. Press the check mark on the top right corner. You save it. And as you can see here below, I have the pink 400 moving average right here. Okay. All right. And I hope you were able to uh, learn how to add moving averages. Thank you.